Today, we're also going to be talking about steak and doofle. Well, you may, you may, you may, you may, you may, you may. Bill Smith claims he has what it takes to be Durbervilles next agriculture commissioner, but what do we really know about the man? I heard he used to drive a dump truck, sneaking around, stealing construction materials from dumpsters, then turning around and recycling them for a handsome profit. It's almost too weird to believe. This man is a tarnished past, but it's not, make it a tarnished future for Durbervilles. The truth of the matter, I hope you the rise what you In the past few years, the market's become real oversaturated with barbecue sauce. <laughs> Next, we have a gear game today. What's that? A gear game today. What's that? A gear game today. Okay, coming up next, we have two members of the burgeoning arcade console maker, Bits Play, and we have Dean and Bruce. It's just really cool to have them here, and they're here to tell us about a new game, which is on Bits Play, and that's called Border Patrol, about a young immigrant who is uh, trying to cross the Mexican border. Uh, to get over to America. And, uh, well, we just welcome them. And, uh, great, guys. Tell us a little bit about yourselves and about your company. I'm originally from Arkansas. Well, I'm also from Atlanta. Tell you the truth, uh, we're not old hands in this sort of a, a computer and games uh, trade. Uh, well, uh, Bruce, he comes from the uh, remote control industry, and I come from a background in barbecue sauce. And in the past few years, the market's become real oversaturated with barbecue sauce. So I was just... Only one day left, all men's pants half off. Only one day left, all men's pants half off. Boots. Hats and buckles by the barrel, bargain basement prices. Boats y bucles, vite barrel alat, bargain basement prices. Pails, drop scene spurs. Pails, drop scene spurs. Boots, hats and spurs on clearance. Boats, hats, yes, spurs on clearance. Cow skin print vests. Cow skin print vests. Snakers, alligator skin and stetson g strings. Snakers y alligator skin and stetson g strings. Price to go. Preset to go. Wrangler Rodeo Blue Jeans, half off. Wrangler Rodeo Blue Jeans, half off. Aeropostale Solid Flat Front Pants, 45% off. Aeropostale Solid Flat front pants, 45% off. Jimbery winter ranch pants, half off. Jimbone winter ranch pants, half off. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Chilling construction of the campaign. Are we rolling? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Babs Cabbage here for TV15. And I'm Wayne, Wayne Gary Stacy. All right. We're just coming in for a short announcement here. Uh, got another sponsor to thank this week. Yeah. The, uh, thanks to the guys at uh, Catch McFist's Wish uh, campaign. Uh, they are generously supporting TV15 uh, because of our recent uh, situation. Oh, uh, just, just just to correct you there real quick, Wayne, I've got a piece of paper here from the campaign, and what they're telling me is uh, they're not an officially a, a campaign for Catch McFit's Wish. Uh, they're what's called a super pack. Hey, no, I know. I, I know they're not... Uh, they're just some good guys, and they're just trying to help help us out. And we thought we'd just uh, help them out and just spread their message. They're just trying to help. Well, they're just trying to, you know. Yeah, trying uh, to do their part. Uh, they're not affiliated in any way with the candidate, uh, Catch McFist Witch. But, uh, boy, they got some great messages to say, and we're going to play them here on TV15. Yeah, and we're playing them because we believe... In the same kind of things. Catch my fist with. I heard you drive. Pants alpha. Sarsaparilla boot cut lace up cord, 75% off. Sarsaparilla boot cut lace up cord, 75% off. Pants alpha. Sarsaparilla boot cut lace up cord, 75% off. Sarsaparilla boot cut lace up cord, 75% off. Hats off. Hats off. Hats off. Trousers off. Trousers off. Bolo ties off. Bolo ties off. Western shirts off. Western shirts off. Buckles off. Buckles off. For slashing all men's pants. Is slashing? For slashing buckles. Shave twice all pants slashed. Men's pants slashed. For slashing shirts. For slashing trousers. Men's work boots, kids boots, and men's exotic boots all on sale. Men's work boots, kids boots, and exotic boots. Men's slash slip slash. So I was just found out about this new computer and game. You know, it's what you might call a cottage industry. 
it's coming about. And so I joined up with this here, this electric company, making just one of these great games. So it may not be our original forte, but, uh, you know, we're just amazed by the games that they're putting out these days. You know, they got one of them games where you're just a, a marble and you're trying to uh, to get through these uh, labyrinthine levels just to get yourself to freedom. Man, I'll tell you, it's just amazing what what, what they do. Uh, anyway, you know, I'm not real good with that kind of hand-eye coordination kind of stuff myself. But I've been watching some of these guys playing at the games. And, well, you know, it just looked like a hell of a lot of fun, you know. Yeah, you know, they got these computer games. They, you know, the, the older people, they say that these are just going to wreak havoc on the youth and rot their brains. But I think these are real good trainers for motor skills. And in a few years, you could have these kids joining the armed forces and, you know, just, uh, boy, they'll shoot down a couple of commie missiles just like that, you know? You know, Strider Vista Street. Oh, and I hope you're right. The truth of the matter is Bill Smith is so completely inexperienced in business and financial matters that even Durable Economist magazine said, quote, a vote for Smith means almost certainly a vote for economic disaster at City Hall. End quote. What's more, Bill Smith notoriously pays for his campaign using the money he got from selling off the state's largest collection of barely legal erotic video cassettes. So why does he even stand a chance at winning? Well, his name's real easy to pronounce. But, do you really want to vote for a guy, just based on his name? Or are you looking for a man with real business acumen, and real world experience? A man who values family and is willing to reach across the aisle for the good of the city. I can do this. I would like to be your next agriculture commissioner. I am Catch McFifth Wish. So, Durberville, what's it gonna be? An inexperienced creep with an easy name and a sleazy game? Or the man you know is right for the job? Well then, vote for me, Catch McFifth Wish. I am Catch McFish Swish and I approve this message. Paid for by the Durberville for the sons and the daughters of McNapp Snitch. Are the hell's kids for Catch McFish Swish and father and grandfather? Benny Zanier got Skids boards and exotic boards. Men's exotic work pants, sneaker chef, tin skips, all on slash and slip and slap. Alone slash and slip and slap. Supply old gringo, panda hammer slim, cruel girl, softly scully, Carhartt lead, damn post and key industry. Not to mention Roper, Milwaukee motorcycle, Schaefer outfit, Skella hats, Montana silversmiths, and resist all roundhouse and lawman. Aura jeans and petrol jeans, we're slashing all prices everywhere, gotta go. As what it takes to be very ill. And Rachel held positioned in skis balls and six, 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 six. Welcome to Agricultural Times, Farmer's Almanac TV. I'm sitting here on just a lovely day in the beautiful ranch home of Catch Mick Fiswish, incumbent candidate for Agriculture Commissioner for Durbeville. Isn't that right, Catch? That's right, Steve. And thank you so much to you and the fine people at Farmer's Almanac for your wonderful programming. Hello out there in TV land. <laughs> All right. Well, you've got quite a few acres of beautiful land here, I must say. And where in the history of Durberville does the McFiswitch heritage find its roots? Well, as you may know, my father, and my grandfather, and my great-grandfather, and so on, generations held positions in local government uh, going back generation after generation, uh, you know, throughout Durberville's history. Yeah. What is it, Mama? Oh. Uh, I'm doing an interview right now. Mama, I don't have time. I'll talk to you in a minute. Uh-huh. And FDR come to the cove to buy moonshine. No, Auntie. Is it, I'm in an interview. I'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah. What is it, Mama? Oh. And it come right out to, to buy moonshine? No. Put that back in the trash, Mama. Uh, uh, I'm doing an interview right, Mama. I don't... To buy moonshine. Down a couple of commie missiles just like that, you know? 
Yeah, I mean, whatever you got to do to protect the red, white, and blue, you know. Okay, great, and so you have a game that you're uh, marketing and bringing to us, and uh, it's currently only available in arcade consoles, but I have a copy for my computer, but um, uh, for the average consumer, it's not available. It's uh, called Border Patrol. It's a real great synopsis and just a real uh, great adventure. And, uh, well, what can you tell us about that? What the game is about, you know, it's a young man, and he's uh, Mexican, and he's just trying to get uh, to the land of opportunity. Dear Carlos, welcome to America. And he has to face all sorts of challenges, uh, including dehydration, bounty hunters, and drug dealers and gangs. So he's just finding his way along the border of Mexico, and uh, he's just trying to get into Savannah or whatever. The gringo and his hombres hate dudes like us. Right now, it's only it's only out there in the arcades, uh, but we're gonna get it down on them consoles real soon. Uh, we're in talks right now with some of the some of the guys from Sega. Get ready to cross the border. Uh, really trying to back the Neo Geo right now. Get in there. I mean, basically, I, I'm a former Navy SEAL myself, and I, you know, my time in the service taught me just trust my gut, you know. And I think Neo Geo's got a whole hell of a lot of advantage. Hey, hey you! You know, we're going to the different electric computer and games, and 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 uh, we're just going to try to we're going to try to get ourselves in a piece of that pie as well. The thing about these games is you aren't going to the circus arcade to play them. You can buy a console. And you can hook them right up in your home computer or your and your TV VCR, and it you don't take no tapes. You don't need a remote, and you can just sit down. And you play great games. What kind of titles we got over there at Bits Play? We got a uh, Squid Master, we got Ninja Nightmare, we got Cooks on the Run. Just a couple of titles. That <laughs> Here's Bill Smith. Take a look at the guy. Look real hard. Tell me. What do you see? I will tell you what I see. The guy looks like he stepped out of some scene in a bad gangsta movie. Now, ask yourself. Is this the guy I want leading Derb Reveal into the future? The guy is as fake as a CG graphic. And that goes double for what he says. Don't buy into his Hollywood dreaming. Look no further than your own city. I was born and raised in Durberville and I plan to stay here. Don't expect me to walk around, greased up, in a shark skin suit. No way, not me. I dress like you folks dress. Jeans, a denim shirt, some cowboy boots and a Stetson. Maybe a tie on formal occasions. I shop at Shetlers, and not because they give me a discount, either. Either. So, look, I'm going back. Doing an interview right, Mama, I don't... Yeah, to buy moonshine? Uh, I don't think they even sell moonshine anymore. Oh, uh, Dan, I am. You shouldn't be drinking it anyway. Dan, uh, Gilbert store. Uh, uh... They don't sell that down at Gilbert's store. Uh-huh. Believe me. Did he buy moonshine at Uncle Charlie's old store? Be very ill. And Rachel sells moonshine. Let's keep on the sequel. Let's play. We got a Squid Master. We got Ninja Nightmare. We got Cooks on the Run. Just a couple of titles that BitsPlay has come up with in just the past year. We're even in talks in making this into a full-length, uh, f- full-length feature feature movie. But what I'm saying, video games like this one, like Border Patrol, they're gonna take over. And ten years from now, you know, you're not. There's not gonna be any more Hollywood. Uh, there's just gonna be video games, consoles. Instead of movie theaters, there's just gonna be a row of consoles. And you're just gonna pay your two fifty, and just go in and play whatever game you want to see. Yeah, but until that day comes, uh, we're gonna try a little bit of cross marketing. I, I got big plans to uh, get this thing written up into screenplay, and I'm thinking, you know, we just get ourselves some big screen actors, you know. So I, I'm thinking Steven Seagal can be the Mexican. You know, John Clad Van Dam, he's, he'll be one of these uh, renegade rodeo ranch heroes, you know, just trying to protect his, his land from these guys, you know. And, you know, I come from the barbecue sauce industry, and if it's one thing that I know about people, it's that if you get that mix 
of just the right spices and just the right seasonings, and you have your sweet and your savory, and you you could you could feed anything to people. And and I'm telling you what, if you it's just like a video game, you know, and you, they have people eating right out of your hand. Uh, if you have the right images coming off that screen and the right sounds, there's some good uh, text going on in the bottom there. Then uh, you, that's the right ingredients. You have people buying your your whole game. So you heard it here. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, mark my words. Uh, Bits play and Border Patrol is going to be the Hollywood of the future. You can look no further than us for for uh, for the future of entertainment in the United States of America. So just the past year. Either. So. Good you one in the saddle. Me or Don Vito Corleone here. See you at the polls, and I hope you make the right decision. Put in my name, catch McFifth Swish, and write it on your ballot. That's McFifth Swish. Look like McDonald's. And then fifth, like the number five, with a TH from the end. And then swish, like the sound of a three pointer, nothing but net. I am Catch McFish Swish and I approve this message. Paid for by the Durberville for the sons and daughters of McNapp's niche campaign. And they're not affiliated in any way with the candidate at Catch McFish, McFish Witch, but uh, Boy, they got some great messages to say, and we're going to play them here on TV15. Yeah, and we're playing them because we believe in the same kind of things. Yeah, just the future and the children. Yeah, and just, you know, we, you, we're, guy, we're guys, men of the earth, you know, and we think, uh, you know, you should love the, the, the wilderness, and, uh, and boy, we like it. My, a lot. my mother used to always tell me, You're going to reap what you sow, Bob's cabbage. Uh, so, fair enough to but that. Sometimes, you know, uh, fate hands you a, a deal and they deal you a card. And then you just have to take it and you work with what you got in your hand. Right. You don't always uh, sow on purpose, but you got to you gotta reap. You don't always sow the ace of spades, but you got to keep a joker in your hand. Uh, and this week, that joker is Catch McFitzwish, so thanks to their campaign. And, uh... They're more like the Ace of Spades, or a wild card, uh, to be accurate. I'd say we're, we're the jokers. Oh boy, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a couple of jokers over here. Watch out, it's getting goofy in here. Someone turn off the laughing gas. Well, anyway, let's, let's let him get back to this. <laughs> yeah, what they're... Uh, we're just glad that we're getting that antenna back up. It's going to be up in, you know, in just a few weeks. I can see the end of the tunnel. The end of the tower. Yeah, yeah so here yep. we go. Hey, but I have some things. Hit up right there to Uncle Charlie's Old Store. Old Store. Old Store. Old, 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 old. Groceries. Old Store. Old Store. Old Store. Old Store. Old Store. Old TV15 is brought to you by the Mindstorm Group, with special financial assistance from the sons and daughters of McNabb Switch Campaign. If you enjoy our show, please do write a review and rate us on our iTunes page. This increases our visibility and will help others to discover our station. Now if you'll excuse me, I must nip out to buy a splash of moonshine from Uncle Charlie's old store. 
Oh, Trish. Trish. 